high voltage give energy battery storage systems versus low voltage give energy battery storage systems. What's the difference? Why does it matter to you? And how does it all get put together? Today, I'm gonna to be breaking that down for you. Let's go. So first of all, what is low voltage, high voltage? You probably sat there watching this thinking, I can't have high voltage because I'm a normal domestic property. Well, that's where you'd go wrong because the voltage, when it refers to it, is the voltage inside the DC pack of the actual batteries themselves. So on the low voltage battery range, the batteries sit around 50 volts Whereas the high voltage battery, depending on how many stacks you have, range anywhere from 200 to 600 volts. What this basically means is increased performance. So with the low voltage battery range, which is on this side, essentially they can only charge and discharge the battery at a limit of 3.6 kilowatts. However, with your high voltage stackable batteries in a domestic range, they can essentially go from anywhere from five kilowatts charge and discharge to 10 kilowatts charge and discharge. The more packs you buy, with the high voltage stackable range, the faster they can charge and discharge out to your home. Why does that matter? Well, think of it this way. If you're an average family like mine, I actually chose the low voltage battery range because they're cheaper to purchase. They're readily expandable. And because I don't have really, really high loads, exclude EV charging away from this because I charge my car at night. But for my cooker, for my electric hob, for you know all the general loads of a house, the washing machine, this system is perfect. However, if you're a bit more of a high performance household, you have more electronic items, you maybe have a big range cooker, for example, or if you've got a heat pump, then the stackable range might be a bit more appropriate. Essentially, the performance in the system, it, as I mentioned before, it can charge and discharge quicker. If you've got a cheap night rate, this enables you to fill more energy into the batteries at a much faster rate enabling you to make more savings. So if you're using 10 kilowatt hours worth of energy per day, then essentially you might be looking this side, but if you're using 15 kilowatt hours plus per day, you'll probably be looking a bit more on that side. Allow me to talk now about stacking and scalability with these two batteries. So in my low voltage battery range, I have a couple of different denominations of size of battery, 5.12 and 9.5. Now in this camera shot, as you can see down here, we've got two of the 5.12 kilowatt hour batteries. In the high voltage stackable range, you have to buy at least 10.2 kilowatts worth of battery storage. This is three stacks. So on a single stack, you get individual battery packs. Now these are 3.4 kilowatt hours per pack. Now you can have up to six packs. This one's got four packs on it. You can have up to six of these packs per stack. So it starts at 10.2 kilowatt hours and you can get up to 20.4 per stack. So six battery packs per stack and you can have up to four stacks, giving you essentially just over 81 kilowatt hours worth of maximum capacity for a domestic property. That's huge. If you're on like a night rate, you've got a really uh, energy heavy household, you're using vast amounts of energy, you want to charge it up on a cheap night rate, you can effectively fill them all to the brim because you can charge at 10 kilowatt hours. Now at this point in time, you might be thinking, I might overload my incoming supply to my house if that happens. Don't worry, the Give Energy inverters are smart and intelligent. They can work out how much energy is being used in your home and they can essentially let off the gas a little bit if you've got multiple loads to prevent your incoming supply from overloading. Now, when it comes to the low voltage battery storage range, you can have up to five of the low voltage batteries. And the great thing about them is you can essentially mix and match. So if you've got one of the original generations of batteries, a Gen 1, Gen 2 batteries, these are interchangeable with the new Generation 3 as well. We need a slightly different lead, but that's quite straightforward. You can also mix and match sizes as well. So they come in a 2.6, 5.12, and as I mentioned, a 9.5, and you can mix and match sizes. So if you started off by saying, I'm just gonna start with five, 0.12 kilowatt hours worth of battery storage. 
You can, and you can always expand at a later date. So from an inverter size, the low voltage battery storage range can come and you can match them with a 3.6 kilowatt hybrid, a five kilowatt hybrid, and they also make a three kilowatt AC coupled. Now on your high voltage stackable battery storage system, they make an eight kilowatt single phase and a 10 kilowatt single phase. If you've got a three phase connection, one of the brilliant things around the Give Energy system is they also make a three phase range. There's just, it can either do small scale commercial or for larger domestic properties. So if you've got a requirement for lots of energy and you need to store lots of energy because you're producing lots, you can say you can get these in a single or a three phase for a domestic or small scale commercial property. Now let's move on to the number of solar panels you can put onto these inverters, which is an all important question depending on the size of your home. So with the 3.6 and 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter ranges, for the 3.6 kilowatt hybrid I would recommend a maximum number of around 10 solar panels. Technically you can put up to 15 kilowatts worth of solar on these kind of thing 30 panels plus but what you'll get is a thing called peak clipping that when you generate more than 3.6 kilowatts worth of energy it'll clip the top lot off so my worldly wisdom of advice would be maximum of around 10 or 12 panels on a 3.6 this is when you jump up in size to the five kilowatt low voltage battery range and hybrid inverter. So your five kilowatt hour hybrid inverter can, would take you then from 10 solar panels to around 16 to 18 solar panels. If you're getting more than that, we're installing now on multiple arrays and roofs, we need to increase the size of our inverter. This is where we come across to the high voltage hybrid inverter range that starts at eight kilowatts, it's a great jump. Now, this is where you would start, you say, I've got more than 16 solar panels, I'm gonna be interested in my eight kilowatt. If you're then going even more solar panels, you might want to jump up to the 10 kilowatt hybrid inverter range. Now you can have up to 15 kilowatts worth of solar input into the high voltage hybrid inverter range. You might be thinking, how many solar panels is that roughly? Depending on the solar panel brand and manufacturer, somewhere in the region of around 32 to 40 solar panels that you could essentially install onto one of these inverters. The low voltage hybrid inverter range have two maximum power point trackers and two inputs. What this means is if you're east and west facing roofs, it'll work perfectly well. Because you're now dealing with more solar panels with your high voltage inverter range, essentially you can install much more. They do still have two maximum power point trackers, but you can have four inputs. This basically enables you to have more solar panels on this inverter and it all work hunky dory. So which one should I choose and how much roughly speaking will these units cost? Well, let me deal with which one I think you should maybe go for first. As I mentioned a second ago, personally, I would go for the 3.6 kilowatt hybrid inverter if I'm going for 10 solar panels, 440 watts per panel, roughly speaking, or less, because it's easy from an application perspective and simply you don't need any more than that. If I'm going for more than that, 10 to around 16 solar panels on my house, I would be going for the five kilowatt low voltage hybrid inverter. If I'm kind of going then 16 to around 30 solar panels, I would then be looking at my high voltage stackable range in terms of the actual inverters themselves. So that's panel maths. However, I appreciate the fact that you may well only have a small roof, but a very high demand in terms of a property. Remove EV charging from this equation because I'm of the firm belief that the majority of people just charge their electric vehicle at night alongside charging their batteries up, of which both of these are capable of doing that. But now I want to refer to those heat pump users or future heat pump users. If you're thinking of getting a heat pump, my strong recommendation is to be strongly considering the high voltage range. Why? Because it can charge and discharge, as we've mentioned, up to 10 kilowatts, depending on the number of batteries you purchase. So you could effectively start with three stacks, because that would be suitable for you now. You will pay a bit more for your actual inverter. But if you then purchase the heat pump in the future, you would have the ability to add more battery packs. And if you need to, you can also add more battery stacks as well. It's very functional on that basis. You might be watching this thinking, 
I've already bought one of these and I'm about to buy a heat pump. I wouldn't also worry too much. Instead, you can expand extra battery storage onto the, this range. But if you had the choice at the outset and you're thinking of increasing that home demand, my strong suggestion would be get a couple of pounds extra out of your pocket and invest in the bigger kit at the outset because of that expandability for future use. And final point, if you're on a house with a three phase incoming supply, the low voltage battery range is just simply not going to be suitable. They only make a single phase version. You want to be looking at the high voltage stackable battery storage range with a three phase inverter and you can get those inverter in up to 20 kilowatts worth of size and as I mentioned up to just over 80 kilowatt hours worth of stackable batteries so you can really mix and match depending on your household and your usage. Something I just wanted to mention is both of these inverters are capable of offering EPS backup. Now, emergency power supply is what I mean by that. So essentially, in the event that the grid goes off, if they're not set up this way, both inverters would just turn off. However, both of the inverters have an output on them that enables you to back up either part or all of your home. Now, the low voltage stackable range is limited to 3.6 kilowatts worth of discharge, so long as you've got energy in the battery, of course, when it goes off grid. This would typically speaking back up something like some lights, a double socket, maybe make you a cup of tea if the power is off. But it's fairly limited in terms of what it's capable of doing, just simply because it's a low voltage battery. However, if you're prone to power cuts and you're looking for something that's a bit more substantial in terms of the actual backup, then the hybrid inverter will offer the same EPS backup. Now, depending on how many battery packs you've got installed will depend on the level of backup you get. But hypothetically speaking, if you have six battery packs on a single stack and you have the 10 kilowatt hybrid inverter, you can essentially back up to the full tune of 10 kilowatts. Now that's a lot of backup. Typically speaking, and every single installation will of course be different and you'll also pay different rates for engineers, whether you're up north or down south. But in the northwest, I can comment from my own personal experience and our business, effectively the 5.12 kilowatt hour battery, typically speaking, is about two and a half grand fully installed for the battery pack alone. If you go for the 9.5 kilowatt hour battery pack, you're typically speaking around three and a half to £3,600 installed. Inverter is very case specific. So if you go for the 3.6 kilowatt inverter, you need slightly smaller isolators, slightly less cable. So you're just slightly over £2,000 fully fitted for that. That's the cost of the inverter, the cost of someone to install it, to terminate the connections, etc. If you're the five kilowatt inverter, you're a few hundred pounds more, around two and a half grand, something along those lines. You would then have to factor in costs for your solar panels, etc. One thing I have done is a deep dive into the low voltage battery range where I give example costs of what I would expect you to pay for a full system. Now, when it comes to the high voltage uh, battery range, I would expect the costs to be around 25 to 30 percent more. I am going to be releasing a full length video on the high voltage stackable batteries. So if you want to find out about the in-depth costs, you'll have to like and subscribe.